Hi there everyone, I hope you're all having a great day today. So what I'm going to be doing today is talking about TV programs like everyone has been doing this week. You know, I think TV programs are really interesting actually. I don't like them as much as reading books, but I still think they're very interesting to watch. You know, I do enjoy a certain few. And today I'm obviously going to be talking about the ones I enjoy the most. So the ones I enjoy the most are generally competition based. So basically I think what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about each one and then talk a bit more detail about a specific one which I want to talk about mostly, which is the voice. UK. I absolutely love that at the moment. You know, it's on right now. Not the current moment, but, you know, the current sort of week and time and everything. Current month that it's on, and it's so, so good. But there are obviously a few others as well, which I'd like to mention. So, first, I'd like to mention The X Factor. I absolutely love that show, and you know, I think it's so, so good. You know, there's great talent on there, and I love listening to the voices and the singing, and everything about it is so entertaining, actually. I really enjoy this sort of competition aspect of it as well. So, the atmosphere is very suspicious and I really like that and it's just so enjoyable to watch really I mean it's been on for a few years now and I've loved every single series of it I just think it probably gets better and better and then of course Britain's Got Talent as well I absolutely love that as well you know that is such a great show I really enjoy that that is probably one of my least favourite competition based shows if I'm totally honest sometimes I think the acts are a bit too vague and then sometimes they're so similar when they're actually looking for variety so it's hard to sort of win with that I think to find something you like you know the ones I like are just generally the musical instrument ones where there's people sort of playing their musical instrument obviously as you know I do play musical instruments myself and basically I just find it enjoyable to watch other people playing as well I'm not a huge fan of the singers on there to be honest though I think they should go on X Factor if they're old enough I think it's sort of like a cheap kind of way sort of to get into the singing industry because I think on X Factor the competition is very very harsh and there's so many good singers on there whereas on Britain's Got Talent as it's not just based on singers I think they probably do have a better chance of getting for him being successful and maybe the X Factor rejects go on there or something that's what I sometimes see actually so you know I don't think it's as good as X Factor and then we have Dancing on Ice which I absolutely love so so much that is probably my favourite if not my second favourite competition based related show because it's so good I absolutely love it you know I love ice skating myself I think it's a great sport definitely my favourite sport you know I didn't even enjoy many sports but that is a great sport ice skating is so fun and then obviously on Dancing on Ice it's pair skating so there's obviously two people on there lots of lifts and tricks and cool stuff like that which is so entertaining to watch you know I'm always on the edge of my seat watching that show it's so so good I absolutely love it and it's just ended a few weeks ago but at the current moment they're actually on tour you know selected contestants are being put forward to do a tour which is really cool they're touring up and down the UK which is just great you know it's great for fans to see them skating live and then I'd finally also like to mention the Great British Bake Off as well which is actually more of an autumn based show I think that was on in September and October kind of time but it was such a great show you know a bit different it's not really talent related in this aspect of sort of singing and dancing and stuff like that it's sort of quite different it's about cooking and stuff and that is still a talent and it's so great to watch you know I love cooking and baking myself so I think it was a great show when it came around you know this year 2012 it'll be its third series I can't wait for that actually you know I think you get lots of inspiration to cook and bake things and what I like about it as well is it is quite technical in a certain aspect that it actually does use technical terminology talk about things in a technical way which is really really good but it's fun at the same time you know I do study food technology for one of my GCSEs so I find it really useful when they talk about it all technical things that we need to know but in a really interesting fun and exciting way I really do enjoy that and then the final thing I'd like to mention is probably I'm going to talk about this in a bit more detail because this is probably at the current moment my favourite show you know I absolutely love it and it is The Voice UK you know at the current moment it's actually the first series here in the UK but it's such a great series I've absolutely loved it you know I really love The Voice it's such a great show I think the whole concept and idea of it is very unique and very different and fairer I guess you could say compared to things like The X Factor and Britain's Got Talent you know I like the idea that you're not judged on how you look you're judged on your voice and your pure talent without being seen I really like the idea of that because I think that sometimes maybe a really ugly person will walk onto the stage on say like X Factor or something and then people will constantly just turn off or not really care about them they're going to think they're rubbish and usually people like that are usually some of the best singers actually so you know I think it's really cool how you can't see them and then the judges turn 
around, they turn their chairs around after pressing a button and then basically they can watch the rest of the performance and then and then at the end if one judge turns around the contestant will go with that judge into a team and each judge has a team of 10. There are four judges so obviously in total that is 40 and then if two or more judges turn around basically the contestant will have to pick which judge they would like to take forward and sort of be in the team with which is really cool actually. I think it definitely sort of represents the music industry you know you do have to make your own decisions. So I really like this show actually I think it's so good. And then at the moment last weekend we had the battle rounds which was so intense you know if you did watch it you know you'll have realised how intense it was you know it was super. I think just to see the contestants performing at that level already is just so great you know they had so much fight and spirit in there which we love to see you know we don't normally see that until like the final of X Factor and this is just the beginning stages you know it's super we haven't even started the live shows yet and talking about live shows they're actually going to start this weekend and I'm so excited for them you know I really can't wait for them because I think they're going to be super I'm really going to enjoy them I always love live shows actually I love the atmosphere and feeling of watching something which is live and I just think it's going to be so good you know I love the setup of everything how everything works I love all the contestants because basically the best singers in the UK are selected to audition for this show and I think the beauty of this is that there's never any bad singers you know they're all really really good the competition is very harsh and it's great to see them battling out and competing in such a harsh atmosphere and I think that because they're selected as the best singers in the UK you know it's so unpredictable because they're all so good you know it's really you can't call who's gonna win who's gonna lose next who's gonna be the next to go it's just so unpredictable which is something I really like actually because I think sometimes an X Factor and maybe Britain's Got Talent as well you can sort of say yeah they're gonna win or they're going out first usually you're correct when you predict and I think on this show it's so unpredictable you know anyone could leave next anyone could win you know there's so much room for improvement still and they're already so good you know what will they be like after they've improved I really just can't recommend this show enough you know if you haven't watched it yet this weekend if you're in the UK tune in I think it'll be at 7 p.m. or half seven on BBC one just have a look in your TV magazine or something on the internet where it'll tell you what time it is what I will actually do is I'll post the time in the comments below so you can see it you know I can't remember it at the top of my head but it's usually about seven or half past seven I'll post it below and then you can go watch it if you're in the UK because it's such a great show you know the live shows are going to be super absolutely phenomenal you know I'm so optimistic about them I really really am and then I assume one or two acts will leave every week and then obviously the winner will be crowned in the end which is just going to be super you know I really can't wait for that final because I mean to see the contestants at such a level already and then there's going to be a final you know after many weeks they'll have improved even more it just warms my heart how good they're actually going to be because so far they're super I think my word of the day today is actually super I keep mentioning that word a lot I don't know why I'm using that word so much today maybe it's just me you know sometimes I use incredible a lot sometimes I use amazing a lot today it's super because it's super. So with all that super business, I think I'm going to end it right here now. Unfortunately, I'm really sorry if you want to know more. You can keep asking me questions in the comments though. I will respond as soon as I can. You know, I understand that I like sort of different programs compared to the rest of the people on this channel, which I guess is kind of different and unique and interesting for people to listen to. You know, everyone else is like Doctor Who, Merlin kind of things. I'm more competition based and obviously that is a bit different and I hope you enjoy listening to my sort of thoughts and opinions on everything. You know, I love talking about them today. So so I guess I'm going to say like don't forget to comment, rate, share and subscribe and I'll see you all again later.